Printmaking is magical, particularly etching. I love the fact that it records the history of every mark and every action that has been taken on that copper surface. It was a great honor and privilege to work with Richard D. McCorrin. He was a contemplative private man, but you could see his thoughts unfurl as you worked with him. And it's a beautiful thing to see that decision process happening. Stephen Korn began making prints in the 1960s. The 80s brought color to his prints. They were bigger, they were brighter, and you could just tell that Demon Korn had really hit his stride. The 80s also brought Rene Bott to Crown Point Press. High Green was a major undertaking for Dick because it was very close to the end of his life and his health was fragile. We cut some large copper plates and he started working on them. And we spent two weeks making this beautiful print we were excited that it was finished when he decided that he really wanted to take it back to the studio and do some more work. It was a process of pulling out the plates and remixing the inks. We kept that original print and we'd compare our new prints to it every time we pulled a new one. And he kept subtracting things and adding things and changing the values of the colors. And finally, he came to the second version, which was lighter in a lot of ways. And when he saw them side by side, he said, oh, I like them both. I think they both work. And I want to do a version one and version two. When you look at high green version two, you'll see a light band at the top of the print. And for me, my eye travels down through the blue. That pulls your eye down to the bottom where there's some hard geometric forms. And then for me, I travel back up the left side and create the process over again. I think what Dick was shooting for when he made these prints is a sense of tension and ease, beauty and calm, but with a little conflict. This work represents so many ideals. The manifestation of years of trust built between a printer and an artist, the culmination of an artist's life's work. It's vibrant, it's fresh, it's a perfect image. Working with Richard was delightful and the highlight of my printmaking career. It was a humbling experience because he was a humble man and that is the real essence of him and his artwork, I believe.